start recording. Just why does it keep opening up Steam's chat? I don't understand why it keeps opening up Steam's chat. Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> Hopefully, we're gonna see in about two seconds on my end whether after the lag that this is working. But I, okay, all right. At least it's working. At least I'm seeing something. Um, and it is moving. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a good day. <laughs> this might be a little loud right now. Last I played, it was Dragon Age Inquisition, and I just want to be like immersed, immersed, immersed in the sound. I want to uh, listen to anything else, so now I need to listen to my own voice. I'm going to this little stream. Can I be like the um the whatever that guy that wears the weird wig and plays Fortnite is, but for Nancy Drew? Can I do that? I mean, I could absolutely play the whole game like this. These lights are very bright. Um, they may not look like they're very bright on the stream because I've turned down the gamma or whatever it is. I don't know what it's called. It's something else that it's called. Not gamma. I remember. But I'm going to wear this. Um, I feel like that's a thing. Anyway. Um, traditionally, you know, give people a little bit of time to kind of filter in, get ready to go. I should probably make one more Facebook post, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, something post. Uh, should be pretty quick. Got the picture queued up right here. Going live now. Come join in. Switch. Don't make that under lowercase twitch dot tv slash p o s t r o b y uh i have to add all these awful tags twitch ghost dogs and moon lake answer your game answer drew boop crew boop shared so, oh, I see we have a couple people. Hey, just on a new look. Is it working? I doubt it. But, uh, hi! You can't see my beautiful eyes. What's that song? Um. Lying Eyes. That's it. Lying Eyes. I'm thinking of Lying Eyes, but that's not what I meant. Whoop! Ow. Yeah, I shouldn't wear these right now. But hello, welcome to the stream. I'm back, baby. She back. She took her time. <laughs> I've been busy though. I've been truly busy. Um, they are great shades, but they're not as good as the ones that I have. Hold on, wait a minute. I can actually get even better ones. And maybe I'll just wear those for the whole stream. Very tempted. Did I take the plastic off this? I think I did. Oh no. All right, we're going to make this even better. We're going to make this Shade Stream. Shade Stream 2019. Uh, oof, I wish it were getting that money, but unfortunately I'm about ready to spend a bunch of money. Whoop. All right, yeah, we got these. Ooh, I can't see very much in these ones, especially on my laptop. Wow. Wow, okay. Polarized glasses. I can see on this screen fine. I just can't see my laptop because of the screen thing, like... So I can't see what you guys are saying. They are great. No, they're totally great. I love these. I haven't worn them yet. I have. I had another pair, but they broke. So I got them back. Um, yeah, life updates. While we uh, let's let uh, us go for like another minute or so. Um, See, so yeah, I've been applying to grad schools again because I'm insane. Um, and while I'm not into BDSM, apparently I'm into sadomasochism because here I am. About ready to go to grad school again because I was accepted um, to one of the not sure if top choice schools. Uh, I haven't actually applied to any other ones besides that one, but I got accepted to Simmons uh, for a library science degree because I'm crazy and got a lot of money from them, um, but not enough, <laughs> which is the unfortunate side of things. Uh, so. Hard to say what will happen next, but I'm going to be attending school in the fall for sure. Again. For the third time. Because, you know, 
one master's degree isn't enough. Then, of course, there was the convention last weekend, which was loads of fun. I have some pictures up on um, the Twitter once I get some more, because uh, I actually got professional photo shoots done on both nights that I did looks. Um, I will post those to Insta, as Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, that's going to be loads of fun. Uh, it was loads of fun. I had loads of fun. And so there was a little bit of prep time ahead of that, and I was kind of neglectful here. I apologize. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? I mean, there's been a lot of other stuff, but that's pretty much... The, those are the two things that, like, really impacted the stream. Oh, 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 forgot to mention. Um, any of you are coming to... or are in the Boston area or are coming to PAX East, you should come to my panel. Because your girl's going to be on a panel about cosplay and photography. I will be talking about the legal issues of cosplay and um, cosplay photography, um, both from the photographer's standpoint and the cosplayer's standpoint. Um, it will be at 6 p.m. on Saturday, I believe in Cuttlefish. Um, I mean, keep an eye on all my social medias for that, but uh, I'm going to have a great time with that. I'm looking forward to it. Plus, I get free admission to PAX East, which I can never turn down. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's going to be loads of fun. So, uh, anyway, now that it's 10.06, let me go ahead and load up the game. Don't get me wrong, we can keep talking about me. I always love talking about me. But, uh, let's get back to Waldo. <laughs> and by Waldo, I mean Baldo. Oh, thank you. I wish you could go, too. It's going to be loads of fun. And I'm going to be doing my, um, I don't know which cosplay I'm going to do for the panel, but I'm definitely going to be in cosplay for it. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I can't remember. I definitely need to do this properly, and I know for a fact that I did not already. I, I just screwed it up already. Except I'm so close. So I will admit, yeah, I'm I'm terribly excited about um that. Bandy. Um, I think it's going to be loads of fun. Which one moved? No. Nope. I want to move this yet. Is that the only one that moves that? No, these move all together. Okay. I know there's a way to make this work, and I'm doing it all badly. Terribly. I've done this before. I'm gonna reset it. Oh, Norton's gonna bother me over here. Shit. Alright. Apparently my computer is gonna restart, so I'm not sure what you guys are saying. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up on my phone, because otherwise I can't see the chat. Nope. Um, here we go. Wow, this is a hot mess for my grand return times two. Okay, I've got chat back now. <laughs> um, let me just also make sure the sound is off. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry, du dual discretion. You uh, just said something and I missed it because unfortunately, whatever like the last couple posts you had, I missed it because my thing just went off. You asked a question, I think. And I am a bad host. Oh, it's so close. Oh my god. Because unfortunately, yeah, there's no... There's no, like, uh... What's it called? Um... Chat history. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. Um, it's actually pretty much the same lighting, although something might be different because I unplugged all of my um, AV equipment and brought it to A&E uh, for the panel that I was doing there, the makeup panel, and uh, ended up not using it anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, no, this the app, the website, ni neither of them have any chat history. It's very weird. I know I need to find a better solution. Um, like everything. I found a place where it does like 
um, free overlays online. Definitely gonna look into that because I, I really need an overlay, I think. Like, oh, it's so close every time I get there. Okay, now Norton, you have no reason to yell at me again. Got it. Okay. She finally remembered how to do the thing. Oh, come on, not Twitter. No, don't go to Twitter. Twitch! Okay. Steam, leave me alone. And... Norton. Silent mode. Don't talk to me for four hours. Thank you. Okay. Got my chat room back. I'm close this on the phone. And we're gonna go back into the, the creepy cave. Um... Oh, I don't remember exactly what we're doing here. Explore this in the dark. Yeah, that's why you got the thing. Oh, right, that's not the... I thought there was an electric thing here. That's a hole. A very big hole. Not go into the hole. I don't know if I should go through these places. That looks like it's just a dead end. Okay, that's fine with me. Is this or is this not a maze? I'm asking the real uh -oh. questions. Uh oh, indeed. I don't like. I'm gonna go this way. Um. Hope we find something useful, at least. If not, get to where we're going. Wait. Do they both go the same way? So this is the speakeasy. Well, wow. we got where we wanted to go anyway. So here we are. If map is correct, the tree where Vitus would bark at the hawks used to be right about here. Here? Oh, okay. I mean, so, yeah. Is this what Pennsylvania is really like? I feel like, the, okay, it's telling me to look at this, but there's... Huh. Okay. Like, if you just go around Pennsylvania like are there just tunnels are there are there speakeasies the world may never know also um furries so <laughs> dapper dogs sodas and spirits oh nope realize that was a thing I feel like these are important, possibly, but, like, don't know how yet. Oh! Oh, wait, I see. Okay. So Iggy has the yellow, I guess? I don't know how the collars are important, but they're probably important. So which one did... I just had a blue collar, I believe. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you never see any part of Nancy that they don't want you to see. You just see... They just let you see her mom jeans. I don't know when those stop. Those though. must be the spigots William Akers mentioned in his journal. Oh, and they're color coded. Aha. There are lots of doggos in this game. Just I like these ones better because they're the not scary ones. Uh 
That looks like a vaguely threatening presence. Aww. Oh, that's cute. Aww, he's so cute. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> Had it for me. Hmm, this makes this difficult. Xander is red. Okay, written down. I'm not sure what was here, though. Hoping Nancy would comment on it and be like, huh, or something. But I mean, that's too much to ask. Moon Lake Moonshine. All the little bleps. Mm -hmm. Lucy. So Lucy would swim out to the shipwreck, which is about here. Green color. Okay. Okay. Big smile. Oh. That's not a dog. Get it? Getaway? Car vacations? Ha! Ha! It's a joke, because gangsters and crime. It's a bad joke. Hello! Ashley, dear, how are you? Uh, I'm attempting to solve the mystery of the ghost dogs, but having problems with the... I want to go play the piano. <laughs> Let me... Ah! Damn. Okay. Can I do something with this? Oh, there's a button. What does the button do? Is it supposed to do something? Maybe. Not not something to me though. Oh hi. Now I can just go through. Okay, good. I was gonna say, do not make me go yeah, all the things they are it's something just you know hanging out in uh oh pennsylvania because why not don't i have a journal do i not have a journal oh right a pda <laughs> There's probably this is not helping me. What is the goal of the map is a grid? I wonder about the spigots. Oh, she even commented on the spigots. A P D A. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. The tech is woefully outdated for a little while in this in this thing. I mean, we are playing a very old game anyway, so. Do I have to do this again or will it just open? Okay, good. So, in here it's supposed to tell me something about the thing, the, 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 the thing, you know. Uh, 
there's a thing. Yeah, no, the the, the the stuff is probably really super fancy at the time, but uh, yeah, no. The, in later games, you do actually have to use a smartphone and like take pictures and stuff, um, something like that. But yeah, no, I, I I know it's you, Ashley. I, I see your screen name in there. I see I see you. I'll see you, hi. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry. I got you, girl. Um. There is something in here that will help me. The dogs will lead you kind of thing. Okay, Mickey changed the passcode to the spigots in the speakeasy. This got my hopes up because the way I figured it, uh, why would Mickey change the code without telling me unless he was hiding something? Figured out the new code, did find nothing in the tunnel that opened up. There wasn't there before. Why Mickey spent all that money on pictures of those dogs of his, I'll never understand. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Well, good job, Nancy. You cracked the case. Damn. Not sure what to make of this. Also, I just noticed the big carved dog in the middle of this. Like, yikes. Oh, yeah, no, I'm absolutely taking notes. Yeah. I got notes down here, and I've got a whole bunch of notes from all the games that I've played so far. So at the end of this whole series, I should have a big notebook. Woo! I'm averaging about like two to three pages per game, somewhere around there. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, also, I've been thinking about like what kind of games I can play when we are done with the Nancy Drews. And... I think I've got some ideas. This is soda. Is that important? Wait. What? What? Uh... Oh, yeah. Majora's Mask is definitely one of those games that you need pen for, pen and paper for. And honestly, that's one of the ones that I was thinking of doing. Since I'm on a kick of, like, these really old frickin' games um, from childhood, there's another one called Titanic Adventure Out of Time. Um, I actually have to try again and see if I can still play it. Um... Because I, I, they released it on good old games, but um, the uh, what's it called? The audio doesn't work right. <laughs> the last time I played the game, I actually had to play it on Windows three point one. Like I had to run an emulator on my computer to emulate three point one so that the game could run. This is that old. Um, so like. Yeah. It's a lot. That's, I guess, all I can say there. It's it's a lot. Um, four paintings. Spigots. That's what I want. How do I unlock the spigots? Oh, I already did that. That's not what I needed. No, I want to know what... Better, time show the new Miracle's Play Plus 2. 
Okay, that doesn't help me. Oh, I'm definitely not writing that out. Oh, man. Yeah, what? that's what I'm trying to find out. What? I'm cheating, by the way. I'm sorry. Oh, you mean like... XL? Like, oh. Oh! Okay. This is easier than I thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I think I got this. I'm going to reset it to the beginning, though. Um, we've got red, blue, yellow, green. I'm going to set the letter here to match the dog with a collar color. There we go. Yeah, no, the emulator thing is definitely going to be a, a trip. But, like, this game, Adventure Out of Time, Titanic Adventure Out of Time, was amazing. They recreated the Titanic. Like, they recreated more of the Titanic more accurately than the James Cameron movie did a year before it happened, and fully in 3D, in a game. Um, they also just, like, made a big deal out of the... Um, What's it called? Um, um, the, the story is just crazy. The number of endings that there are. Okay, that works. The hander. Okay, the number of endings that there are is like just just ridiculous. Honestly. Oh no! Too far. I'm just gonna keep doing this until it works though so yeah i definitely want to show you guys that but i also want to try doing some games that i have not done before yellow is iggy um like um i have never played the monkey island games for instance um the point and click ones and so like sometime i feel like i should try Doing that. All right, green is Lucy for an L. Um, doing that for you guys. Because those point and click games, too, those can be crazy. Oh, and the uh, Agatha Christie games, too. Is that a different passage or the same passage? Where is that? Oh, you've never heard of Monkey Island. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. Monkey Island is like one of the old point-and-click 2D classic type things, but they're like insane. Like, um, I, I don't know that much about Monkey Island itself, so I can't speak to that, but one of the Agatha Christie games that I played, and then there were none. It was one of the first ones. I think it was actually the first 3D game that they made. It was a point-and-click adventure kind of a thing. And, like, at one point, you have to get to another part of the island that is blocked off by brambles. In order to get rid of the brambles, you have to take a glass from the lounge, not the kitchen or the dining room, just the lounge. You have to take a cocktail glass from the lounge, go out to the orchard, and take some fermented apples put it through the apple press with the glass underneath it to create apple cider. Then you take that cider to the brambles, pour it on, and then the goat that is near the brambles will eat the brambles because the apple cider is now on the br- Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. And hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Oh wow, I've got 11 people in my stream right now? Holy crap, when did I get so popular? Eesh. Why are you all here? <laughs> but no, really, welcome everybody. Um, oops, right. Watch me fumble around in the dark, quite literally. Oh, is this it? Where is this? Oh, 
things. What is this then? This is creepy as brick. Yeah, no, the logic in the in those games is absolute insanity, and that's what I love about them. Interesting. I don't get this yet, but I think I kind of have an idea. Um, most importantly, we need to find Xander play by the pump, which is right here. Thank you, Nancy, for doing the thing. Um, I've never been inside the Hoover Dam, so this is really what that's like. That's kind of creepy. I don't know that I want to go inside the Hoover Dam. Then. Okay. So, like, nope, that's not the. Nancy, put that down. Not helpful. Okay, so the first one here is... Iggy. Iggy, which is the one on the porch. I don't know if this is right or not. I'm going to try it. But Iggy is in, like, um, we'll call it... This is A, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. C9, okay. 1, 2, 3... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That didn't help. I thought that was all I needed to do. This shoreline doesn't look helpful at all. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot more pipes, yeah, because it's a hydro dam too, isn't it? Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Okay, so now we gotta figure this out. Okay, so E is in C9. Okay, Xander is in B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. B, 7. Vitus is in A, B, C, D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. B, 11. And Lucy is A, B, C, D, E, F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. F, 7. Okay. And then I see this looks just like the thing. So we have to go um, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we have F7, which is up here. Then we have B9 and D11. She's a genius! Those... That doesn't sound good. No, it does not. I don't want to move. I don't want to move at all. Uh. Uh. Those were loud noises. Let's just. We'll come back to that. There's more down here, so let's keep going. Like a dead end, you know? Who doesn't like dead ends? I love a good dead end, don't you? Don't you? Bark, bark. So you're the ghost. Oh, you look pretty real to me. 
<laughs> kind of puppies. Dogs have been trained to act vicious on command. Oh, poor things. That's mean. Blowing our toothpaste. That's weird. I mean, we knew this was coming, didn't we? Comb? Excuse me? I think we know who this person is. <laughs> yeah, the one that owns the shop. She's been trolling the lake and that's why she does the thing. Gary's gadgets and gizmos is one eight hundred five 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 six seven two nine. Ba -da -ba. Who is Nancy Drew? She's the bitch who's out to get you. Nancy Drew, she's here to get you. I mean, yeah, at least I got pizza. That's fair. Does he have gadgets and gizmos of plenty? Oh, that's a good point. Oh, Brady Armstrong, he's back. Look who's back. Despite the Royal Palladium fiasco, Brady Armstrong makes a comeback in Destiny Shine 4. Unfortunately. Mayan temples used as alien landing pads. Glyphs hold. Key to evidence. That sounds like what's-his-face. Sunny June. There's the name I wanted. Also, I'm going to take this key because Nancy's a klepto. That's the speaker I saw in the house. She's an observant girl. I don't know what this is. What is this? Okay. Well, that I was a the lot. dogs attacked Sally's house because high frequency signal was transmitted to them through the speaker I saw on the roof. You've been trained to respond to a silent signal from this thing, haven't you? Astute. Puppies! Bye, puppies! Bye, puppies! Do I have to do the puzzle again? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, time to go to a, um... Time to collapse the thing, so... B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... And then F7... Then C9... D12... D11... Let's go die! This looks safe right here. Look at these. These are totally safe. That's not buckling at all. This is fine. This is fine. It's totally fine. We're not going to die. Not going to die. Totally fine. These are perfectly straight. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're saying. It's some kind of lock. I'm guessing the key goes in the lock. Well, this is a thing. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. This is hard. What does this do? Oh, this is the out. Let's take this. Because it looks important. Something's missing here. Yeah, it's probably this, dear. The wheel is spinning, but nothing's happening. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Well, you know what time it is, folks. 
Oh, does it not work anymore? Oh, my night thought stopped. Oh, sad. But thank you, Duel. Thank you. Thank you got it. Okay. It's locked. Okay, is there something I'm missing here? Ah. Okay. Uh, not sure if this is actually doing anything. It's locked. Okay. No. Okay. Um. Once again, I don't know if I turn this, I make the click click the noise, and I turn this, and then I turn this. This is not working. No. It's but. locked. Hmm. I mean, yeah, no, I'm about ready to like unleash the entire lake down upon my head here. Because Nancy is just that good, thank you very much. Y'all wanted a flood? Oops. I feel like there's a solution to this that I, I'm not seeing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> About that flooding. Um, oops. Try that again. Let's not do the opening of the thing. We need to drain the thing first. Nancy's very good at getting dead. And I'm very good at finding the dead that she gets. Oh, I'm missing one of the one of the valves. I'm not even going to cheat real hard. I just realized that there's apparently a valve that I'm not seeing. Should be two on each side. But this is not one of them. Wait. Confused still. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, yeah, it's very misty. It's misty. Can we call that a thing? Just misty. You're right. Okay. That should be changing the fill rate. Okay. It did. Or do we have to then do this? Lock it. Okay. Oops, stop it, Nancy. I don't know that this wheel is doing anything at all. Might, do I need to turn it the other way? Like, I mean, she's such a klepto that she takes everything she can. If it's not nailed to the floor, you know, or nailed to wherever it is, she's going to take it.
Oh. Oh, oh. See, this is my problem right here. It's just spinning on the thing. Um, so guess what that screwdriver's for, apparently. Nailed it. Or screwed it. Locked. Now it's locked. Girl, she did it. She done did it. She done did it. I'm this close to finding the gold. I just know it. You betrayal of the obvious suspect in three, two, one. Oh, you have to go down too? That's safe. This is totally safe. Super duper safe. Krollmeister Wellworks. Wait, let's figure this out before we have to go anywhere. Krollmeister Wellworks, 1924. I feel like this might be important, because I'm pretty sure this is like the end. It feels like the end, doesn't it? Numbers. <gasps> wait, wait, the dogs and their birthdays? Yes, because the tree, winter, and the the something and the summer. Spring, I guess. Something like that. We have this written down though. Did I write down all the birthdays? Why did I only write down some of the birthdays? Shit. <laughs> I only wrote down some, like one of the birthdays because I'm an absolute idiot. Um, you tell me I know all this I know all this I know what it is just tell me the damn things oh wait a minute really oh no never mind I'm an idiot you don't need birthdays I'm a real idiot oh wow you wanna know how stupid this is Want to know how stupid this is? So that's what I thought. I But the only thing you needed to know for one of the other puzzles was actually what season they were born in. And that is the case. But so these dials can apparently go all the way up to like 50, right? Or like 59 or something, right? Okay. We've had a lot of Roman numeral puzzles lately. And the dog's names are Iggy, Vitus, Xander, and Lucy. You take the first initial of each dog's name. You have an I, a V, an X, and an L. Roman numerals 0, 1, 0, 5, 10, and 50. God damn it. So what we need to do in order here actually is um what? Green is Lucy, that's fifty. Then Xander is red, that's ten. Blue five and piggy yellow is one. Talk about some screwy logic here, not gonna lie. Okay, so we got fifty. Set to one zero, okay. This is probably going to screw me up because these are moving on their own. Yeah, like that. Okay, this is the one that moves completely on its own. And I 
keep working my way around. Making my way downtown, walking fast, spaces pass, I'm homebound. And I solved it without even really trying. Woo! It is very tricky. And yeah, no, it's some very weird logic. Very weird logic indeed. I don't want to pull on this thing. This feels like a pull my finger thing. Um, if I pull on this, does the lake come back down on me? Something's missing here. Hammer it? Something's no, missing okay. Here. That looks like a... I mean... Really? Okay, um... You better make sure this door is closed all the way before Nancy, you do not scare else. me with that! Oh my god! Something's missing nope. here. You're just taking it with you, dear. She is scaring me, I'm not gonna lie. This is like peak weird creepy thing. We're in a well that hasn't been touched since the 19 freaking 20s. I am not safe down here. Oh look, gold. Literal six hundred pounds of gold bullion. That's only six hundred. Wow. That's that's it? Okay. Now are we ready for the reveal? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season... I don't know what number game is this. Is... Wait, we're just going to leave it here? We're just going to be like, okay, cool. Gold. Yeah. Nothing else to see in here? Okay, I thought... When's the sudden but inevitable betrayal? Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? Found it. I can't let Emily catch me. Okay. So you're gonna... Don't you shut that door on me, Nancy Drew. If I don't keep moving, Emily will catch me. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. This is gonna be, um, something, though. Oh, can we just kill her? There's plenty of gold here. We can share. Open the door. I need to get out of here. No, just take the thing, you idiot. <sighs> no. Nancy. Nancy, wait. Let's talk about this. This can just be our little secret. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, remember? Nancy. The gold's all yours, Em. Enjoy it while you can. Boom! Suck it! Dear Ned, as soon as I got out of the tunnels, Emily had left a door open. I called the sheriff, but when I led him back down the well to the room where I'd left Emily, she refused to leave. He and his deputies finally got her out, but one of them said afterward that if he had to choose between getting a bear away from her cub and getting Emily away from that gold, he'd pick the bear. I don't understand. Worse, but... By the time they took Emily away, the place was swarming Bone. with reporters from all over the country. The commotion has scared away every bird for miles. I'm pretty sure Red Knot would like to strangle me. Red Knot! When Ranger Acres found out that seven cars and two helicopters were illegally parked on park property and that he was going to get to ticket them, he was ecstatic. Cops, Tucker man. Dave has finally cleared away that dead tree, which means I'm free to drive home. Moon Lake is beautiful, but I've had enough wildlife for now. Amen to that. Which reminds me, did I mention that those four ghost dogs are actually very sweet? They're Ooh. so sweet, in fact, that Sally is seriously thinking about adopting them. How's Puppies. that for irony? Ever yours, Nancy. Puppies. Best hi, it's Nancy. I'm at this little amusement park on the coast. <gasps> I wish I could say I was having a wonderful time, but the fact is, some pretty spooky things have been happening here. There have been some strange accidents. And the carousel, it starts up in the dead of night all by itself, like it's haunted or something. You know me, I don't get scared very easily, but I saw it myself, and I'll call you later. I've got to go. I've got to go right now. Ha. 
I just noticed a mistake. Yeah, yeah, you saw it too, New England Telephone. That's the funny thing though, is that the amusement park is in Jersey, not in New England. I lost my cap. And my room is dark. The room is dark and full of terrors. And including my thing. But yeah, we did it. We solved the ghost dogs in Moon Lake. We found all the puppies. Yay. And I lost my fiddlestick. Uh, am I going to sleep with this tonight? Yes. Oh, I found it. Ugh. Okay, I found it. Okay, we're good. I thought I was going to sleep with it. But, uh, okay. So, yeah. No. Um, I mean, this was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so hang tight and I can start up the second game. Or, um, you could try something different if you wanted to. And I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm about ready to play my favorite level. And if you guys want to watch me stumble around and pretend to be a very fancy person at a palace, though I don't usually talk very much during those. Nancy Drew, I kind of know it's coming. So, uh... I don't think I need this one. Let me see if I can get this going. But yeah, no, the next game um, is The Haunted Carousel, and it takes place in New Jersey, but the phone that she was calling from said New England Telephone. New Jersey is not in New England. Fuck you. Ugh. New England telephone. All right, what do we got here? Um, where's my Nancy Drew folder? Ah, found it. Haunted Carousel. I think I've even already played this one. Um, 7-Zip Open Archive. Ah, there's a way to do this properly. Should read the note. And run setup.exe. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just put a folder here and we'll call it Nancy Drew THC. We'll take all of this and we'll dump it in. The digital copy of the fancy paint. Oh, oh, this one. Yep, this one. Hold on. Um, let me see if I can show that to you properly. This has become my new singer sergeant, my new favorite singer sergeant painting. Um, right here. Um, Mrs. George Swinton. Oh, get away, Mrs. George Swinton. This is the energy that I want to. I'm gonna flick this thing off if I'm not careful. This is the energy that I want to like exude in life this is the dress i want i want a like ruby tiara in this cream gold dress and just be like yeah i'm rich and and definitely what i want in my life oops okay if i open this up run setup you might hear some music in a moment I, I do need to see Pose, I'm not going to lie. And, I mean, we saw, like, um, what's it called? Um, shoot, I can't remember his name. The guy, he was at the Oscars, he wore the dress, he was, he's in Pose. Um, Billy Porter. Billy Porter wearing that Christian Syria on a tuxedo gown. Oh, my God. My God was so good and i like that everyone was basically like he is the best dressed um that is the stuff that i want um, let me just put this where it wants it actually i will not install your version of DirectX. Love this. Look how fast that works. Damn. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're good.
Um, just going to delete that since we don't need it anymore. I mean, he basically did. It was such a good dress. And, like, even beyond the fact that it was him wearing it, like, the dress was so gorgeous. Oh, my God. And then, like, he changed out of the gown itself into palazzo pants at one point to make it easier to sit in, um, which I thought was also kind of great. I just like that. So much. And yeah, Pose is definitely the show that I need to watch. Incorrect path to I and I final. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Of course, you know, I'm currently missing uh, the newest thing of. Um, What's it called? Nancy Drew. Nope, not Nancy Drew. <laughs> uh, Drag Race, RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I will very much want to do that. Where? Hard drive, CD drive. CD drive is not D. You don't need to know that. <laughs> hmm. It just work. But it's, it's not. If I click on this. Is that not the INI file? I mean, I'm looking right at it. Yeah. Do the Han Carousel. It's just wrong. I don't know how to um how to fix that. It's just wrong. Okay. Um, let's, nope, shut up, go away. Nancy Drew, delete. We're just going to delete that, and we're going to delete this. Um, do I have another way to do this? Um, <laughs> got a lot of different files here, Hana Carousel, because I've played this recently. I've got like so many different files and ways to make this happen that, you know, at some point it will work. At some point, maybe before midnight. Okay, should fly through just like it did before, except this time. Incorrect path to I and I file. See Nancy Drew. Han Carousel, game I and I. Okay. Oh, hey, look, I've done this before, <laughs> apparently. Um, Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, okay, let's try this. All right, we're going to try this again. She can be done just having the problems of the making this happen. We're going to do a couple of different things. We're going to run this as an administrator. Honestly, half of the stream is me just like screwing with this. <laughs> run as administrator. Let me step one. Um, dolphin? You mean like the is oh the program that's on my computer? Oh yeah no that's um no it's uh a Nintendo emulator. I won't even say that it's one thing in particular because it does GameCube and um Wii I think both 
Um, oh, right, and I need to also open up File Explorer. Go into OC MD, and we're going to make a new folder called the Haunted Carousel THC. <laughs> Weed joke. Um, and we're going to go browse. TFC, TFC, next, recommended. I'll install DirectX myself. It does its thing. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've used that. Um, I've used that to play um, some GameCube games every once in a while, just for fun. Um, like, let me tell you, it's an experience uh, playing Super Mario Sunshine in 8K Super Samples. <laughs> It's a bit of a tax on your CPU because it, it doesn't use your graphics card at all, which is strange. It only uses your um, your CPU, so my CPU is a little slow on that. But it was like, on the one hand, it shows all the bad parts of the game. On the other hand, it makes everything very sharp, for better or for worse. What am I doing with this? What am I doing with this? Um, the Haunted Carousel, the thing is right here. Run as administrator. Shablam! She did it. She done did it. Mm-hmm. All right, well, since we still have, like, a good two hours left on the stream, I'm going to go ahead and quickly post another post. Oh, wait, I can't. I don't have the... I don't have the thing yet. I don't have the thing yet, yeah. Yeah, no, this is um, a great game for weird animal stuff, by the way. Um, and you're ready for, like, some of the most atrocious Jersey accents you've ever heard? Because we are here for it. Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. I should make to some playing, post at choose least. either junior or senior detective. Hold on. If you're new um, to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. I'm just going to quickly... I really should just, like, let some people know that I'm changing the game. I can at least do it over here, too. I'm sorry, guys. I, I promise this won't take long. I promise. Um, I'm gonna change this to the haunted carousel. Okay. Content must follow guidelines. I don't know what that means. You want me not to swear? It's just too fucking late. Nah. Um. The haunted carousel. Images. Um, going to download image and Instagram and I'm going to crop it and hope that gets past the sensors. Well, actually, can we add, like, a sticker in it, maybe? Stickers. No stickers. No, you cannot add stickers in Instagram. Cool. Okay. That was short. From ghost dogs to haunted carousels in Jersey. Ghost dogs in Pennsylvania. Sorry. Ghost dogs in Pennsylvania to haunted carousels in Jer Jersey, which is hardly an improvement as far as I'm concerned. But come on by. By. Not my. Come on by. Which dot tv slash bos trophy wife hashtag nancy drew hashtag which hashtag blue crew hashtag the han did carousel there we go hashtag nancy drew game share Open up the if then if this then that 
thing. IFTTT and check app. Boom. And then check my Twitter profile to make sure it went and we are good and done. All right, promise, we're good. Okay. Yeah, no, you can select the difficulty in this, but Junior isn't even bother touching, to be honest. Junior is way too easy. Um, senior is really like the only way to do anything. Um, <laughs> I mean, Nancy is a woman of the people. She absolutely understands lower back pain better than anyone else, I think. I mean, especially if you're going to walk around in that dress and heels all day. I mean, if you're bent over looking into a magnifying glass, I completely understand. But also, if you're bent over <laughs> picking up things off the floor that aren't nailed down because you're a kleptomaniac, you know. Whoa, wait a minute. Excuse me? Excuse me? Hold on. What? Excuse me? Who just, who just retweeted this? We are not affiliated with Twitch. Never mind. <laughs> That's a little weird. But anyway, yeah, senior detective. Dear only Ned, thing worth working well, on. Here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Captain's About to try to figure Cove. out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Okay, so just gonna preface for everybody here, but like, this is the weirdest cast of characters ever. Like, not a single one of them is not weird. Usually, with most Nancy Drew games, it's like one crazy character. Or, like, there's at least a couple of sane ones. But no. Everybody in this is just bonkers. Absolute bonkers. It's great. Um, I doubt that this this Harlan is anything like the one that you dated. I'm gonna just say that right now. <laughs> um, and the hotel's, um... Something. A room service menu. All right. You can absolutely own, order plenty of things, and uh, this is one of my favorite parts. Everybody here, ready for this? Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week <laughs> off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good. Use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? <laughs> I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. <laughs> you don't want an outside line, do you? Good, because it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Also, I don't know how to do it. I fucking love her. <laughs> I don't know how to do my job. I'm filling in for my cousin, and I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Also, look at Nancy's response to this. What do you want? I'd like to order a hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. Pasta and veggie platter with orange juice instead of a soft drink. Or a sundae. Like, oh, look at me. I'm trying to be all healthy and everything, but I want ice cream. I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll be there in a few. Anything else? <laughs> with what? <laughs> with what? With moo juice? <laughs> moo juice? <laughs> oh no! No, you can't. 
can't go with that. No. Movie shoes. Oh my god. I have to write that down. I have to write this down. This is going to be a new thing. Oh my god. Movie <laughs> shoes. <laughs> this is right up there with Tom Selleck. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like a new thing. The, the Jowledge. Tom Selleck. Moo Juice. <laughs> Fucking gold. Thanks a lot. No prob. Here we go. We gotta get our. What? Moo Juice? No. It's so. Disappointing. <laughs> Awkward. Moo juice. Well, that's enough of that. We're gonna leave that here. <laughs> mm. Oh, 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 it started. Um wait. Okay, um, I don't know what I'm doing, I just know that I have to match things, but they're very confusing. And so I, I don't really know what I'm doing, just kind of hoping that there are some matches, like that. Kind of trying to put some of them together. Um she's not good at this girls. Girl she ain't she ain't doing it. She's she's bad. Also why is there a maritime flag game in this game? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um Okay, got some of this. We got some of this. We're doing better. Okay, starting to see some of the things. This is way easier than like the um, those puzzles. What are they called? The the like tap tap phone games. Um, uh, with the you know like um Candy Crush. There we go. Like Candy Crush. Way easier than Candy Crush. Just, just put whatever anywhere. Um, doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. You know, do you. You, you. you do you. Okay. Um, I think it's trying to tell me something on the right side of the screen, but I'm so focused on, like, getting all of these that I have no idea what it is. <laughs> no clue at all. Um... Oh, this might be it, lads. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if I can find another match in the amount of time that I have. It, nope, there it is. I found it. Um, not getting any easier, though, mind you. Got so many close ones. Right, I just found another one. And here's one right here. And, uh, this keeps adding time, I think, so that's why this feels like this goes on forever. Um, wait, okay. Okay. And, uh, I better get a high score after this, whatever that means. I doubt that it'll mean anything, but high score. Woo! There are definitely times though where like the high if you get a high score oh we're done oh the goal was ten thousand ten thousand no I don't no 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 I don't want to do this again <laughs> I want to do that again got a journal in here things to do 
and an inbox. No outgoing mail. <laughs> Dear valued customer, outgoing mail service has been temporarily halted. We expect to have service restored within 24 hours. In the meantime, you will be able to receive but not send email. Good job. Very disappointing. Um, I don't understand how you can be an email service and be like, yeah, you can like read your email. But don't, don't try to send any, you know? All right. Everyone's favorite part, mom jeans. Bam. Rolf Kessler. Ooh, wait. What's in here? Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. Go into the mouth of the whale. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gate crasher. You must be Harlan. Paula Santos. Everyone said meet Harlan. Me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. And you're the security guard. The only security guard, sounds like. I'm I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while mm -hmm. the park's closed. Even agreed to a pay Wait, cut. Wait, really? He was a security guard too? That's really... <laughs> was he a security guard for like one of the local amusement parks or something? Please, if you go that far, I might die. <laughs> um... You must really like your job. I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. Convincing. So is this your first encounter with a haunted amusement park ride? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of course, I'm no expert and in good swears she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. Ah, She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Ready to meet her. I just want to meet her. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact... She's your next stop. She is? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills, so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. Then I guess I'll go meet Joy. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. I definitely want this crazy crab. Look at its eyes. It calls to me. Feel it deep in my soul. <laughs> eyes emoji. I don't know if the eyes emoji is because of Elliot Chen or because of this crab. I'm going to pretend it's because of both. <laughs> Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. Of course it she never is. occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? <laughs> we didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the, the theft. buff crab do have sucks one of those you in with its eyes. On tape. Wanna see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Did 
Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. I'll see you around. Go get them. Okay, so. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. It would be rude to use my phone now. Beep, 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 beep. Anything we can steal? Nope. Let's go talk to Joy. Hello. Ring, ring. Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster, even if you can't ride it. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Paula. Okay, it does have the... the okay. Hello. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please, go ahead and finish up. That's okay. I just as soon get this little farce over. What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. That's quite a thing to throw at your employer. Oh yeah, no, my boss is absolutely defrauding the public by... <laughs> I thought her name was Joy Trent, not Michael Cohen. Bam! Relevant. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, this, is, this is actually, I think, the game where the quality of the character models has, like, finally hit an acceptable level, where they're still... They're significantly less Uncanny Valley than they have been before. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. And you're going to tell me the person who hi her. was hired Except by her... Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Yeah, no, uh, animatronics definitely, see, yeah, we're in a Disney park. This is, um, basically just a giant, uh, it's a small world. <laughs> Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. Bitch. But before I forget, here's your access card. That Thank should you. get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Hmm, maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Orbiter turned Hidden into... jewels. Oh. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. Just gonna 
take over for me. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Cool. The original Sheldon Rousseau Galaxy Ballroom. The haunted house used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? Bad face. I prefer a ballroom. The Nouveau Jersey Shore Orchestra, otherwise known as the New Jersey Shore Orchestra. Gross. What is this? What is this? I guess we'll go talk to people first. Try not to bug him. Dill eat dally. Yep, Take your that's time. a good thing. Bam. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Excuse me, bitch. Excuse me, bitch. Fucking word. Me, 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 me. Looking for someone? If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. <laughs> My name's Nancy Drew. Ms. Santos asked me to do an informal like investigation this. of the roller coaster accident, and... Uh, why are you looking at me like that? You've got B3 issues. Okay. Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Thanks for the advice. How long have cool. you worked here? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last ten months. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel, and now the park is cursed. So you think this cursed thing is real? The man who carved the horses, Kessel, he said if they were ever separated, bad luck would follow. And it has. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those I feel like her eye makeup is amazing, anyway. yeah. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Any idea why someone would steal a horse off a carousel? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Time to do everyone's favorite thing. We're going to wander around. We're going to pick up everything that we can. <laughs> That's absolutely how this works. Well, I guess we're going over here. Looking for something? Is it a nice car? It's hard to say. Let's say that it's a hybrid. I wonder if it means like it's an actual hybrid. Probably not. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. Thanks for your help. Well, considering you it's been about two minutes and I haven't left this room, yes, it, I am still on the case. Go ahead and uh, make some quick calls. See if Paula Santos has something to say. Paula Santos. 
Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? What can you tell me about the people working at the park during the shutdown? I frankly don't know any of my employees that well. I'm a very hands-off kind of boss. I believe in hiring the best, then stepping aside and letting them do their best. Well, what are some of your general impressions? Hmm. Well, let's see. Ingrid Corey is extremely competent and has no problems managing the maintenance staff. Although... She seems to have some pretty expensive tastes. Exactly. But to each his or her own. So, where was I? There's Harlan Bishop, very conscientious. Elliot Chen, very talented, but a very slow worker. And Joy Trent, very... well... Joy is hard to describe. I understand you and her father used to be business partners. I've yet to meet a man who was as terrific with people and as horrible with money as Daryl Trent was. He stayed afloat for 30 years on sheer charisma, I swear. Did he have any other children? Joy is an only child. Daryl worried about her constantly, always said she didn't laugh enough. Unfortunately, two years ago, he pretty much stopped laughing too. His bad investments caught up with him. He sold everything he could, but still wound up drowning in debt. Till one day in bankruptcy court, he just keeled over and died of a heart attack. How did Joy take it? I really couldn't tell you. She That's healthcare in this country for you. About her father, ever. Just out of curiosity, why do you think someone would steal a carousel horse? I think it was just a bunch of kids who felt like vandalizing something. But why would they take the horse? Why didn't they just break it into pieces or something? I don't know. Maybe they wanted it for a prank. The police think it could still turn up, although they warn me that if it does, it probably won't be in very good shape. When will the insurance company be sending someone out to investigate the roller coaster accident? Every time I call, I get the same thing. Someone will be out soon. Which is why I'd really like you to take a look, Nancy. No telling when they'll get around to it. I read how a customer at Captain's Cove once found stolen jewels on one of the rides. Which makes me wonder if that could be why that carousel horse was stolen. You mean someone stole it because they thought there were jewels stashed inside it? Wow, that's really interesting. Maybe you should tell the police. Have any other stolen jewels ever turned up in the park? Not that I know of. But it's possible that people have found other stashes and just never said anything. Not everyone's as honest as that one kid was, I'm afraid. You know, the man who was in charge of the investigation back then, Detective K.J. Paris, it just so happens that he's a friend of mine. In fact, as soon as I hang up, I'm going to call him and tell him to call you. I think you're onto something. I'll be in we touch. We already got a lead. Ooh, right away. Damn. Who are you and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that over here on top of the cabinet. Didn't I tell you guys that all these characters are insane? Well, fun fact. There is another character that you have not been introduced to yet. He's going over here. Please identify yourself. I have no words. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this sit in for a little bit because I'm seeing, yeah, dual. You got this right. Like, what is this ungodly creature and why is it on my screen? But you <laughs> have to deal with it for the rest of the game. Who programmed you? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? Elliot Chen is kind of upset with me. I need to write her a note to call him. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. <laughs> If they're pre-programmed video audio responses, why can't they just be a tape? Why does it have to sound like that? <laughs> like, oof. Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. Gross. You know, 
I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Puppy. Well, I mean, we're here. Uh, can we snoop? No. Fine. Mean. Ring, Hello? ring. This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said a concern that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago. And this guy, he's straight out of like a 1940s Pulp Fiction thing. He's like... Hello, this is, this is Detective K.J. Parrish, Captain's Cove Police Department. You know, we're, 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 invest, we're out here investigating things on, on behalf of you. What, what, what is this? Uh. Well, I was thinking maybe the reason that horse was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove two weeks ago was because somebody thought there were jewels from that heist inside it. Uh, never occurred to me. Dunning. Died Chaz about a year ago. Dunning. I'll tell you what. I'll make Chaz. some calls trying to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. I'm sure Paula will be very appreciative. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator. Doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid not. it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Procrastination does not mean that you don't like to work. It just means that you have trouble getting started. Once you, once I get start, I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible. I always procrastinate. But once I get started on something, it's just like bam, 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 bam. You know, it just does the thing. Is he in danger of losing his job? Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye bye like soon. I'll see Who you talks around. Like this? Sounds good. Who talks like this? It's like a mystery. The real mystery is why do people talk like this? <laughs> All right, I said I would go look at the roller coaster, so I guess we're we're here at the roller coaster. This takes an employee access card. Hmm. Boop, boop. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Hey. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Ha ha. The clam. It speaks to me. The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! I like how its little eyes light up and everything. Alright, so we have to try and catch the thing. Here comes the brass ring. Get ready. Gotcha! Woo -hoo. Did it in the first try. Oh. Now we just gotta sit and wait. I don't think we can. Oh, can I catch it again? Nope. No, I cannot. Well, we get a free ride. Can't, like, investigate it at all? Oh, if I do it like this, then we can actually... Okay. They just left the hardware here. That's safe. Okay, bitch. All access card. None of them are working. How am I supposed to do the thing? Ah, Hello. Hi, Nancy. Calling KJ me. Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. 
The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Not at all, but okay. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. Yeah. I was in the process the, uh, of upgrading its main circuit. Access cards are pretty useless board. if they don't let me in. I'm afraid you're anything. going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place. Which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. The Parker's Industrial Engineering Handbook, 3rd Edition, edited by Petit All Together. Put it all together. When you're all done, remove uh, the red tag and take it to Harlan. Uh, that way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So... Once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. Thanks for your help. No big deal. I love her cheekbone. Can I have your face? I really do need to get this work done. Yeah, and I right. really need to Sorry. get my work done, which requires me to make you do things, so, bitch. Fine. We'll go look at the thing. Okay. Better Apparently not this take is straightforward. Tag until I fix this. Well, open the thing, Nancy. Okay. Low is the schematic for the circuit as it currently stands. Resistors are in parallel. Uh, I split the circuit to allow easy soldering of macro resistor once it comes in. Formeister called and said that total resistance for the upgrade has to be 15 ohms. They said that micro macro resistor will give 5 ohms of resistance to whoever took in things to open resistors in series. I'm sure this is not difficult at all. But I need a soldering gun. I forgot. I still need to get the thing because. Well, Miss Destructo returns. You talked to Joy? Imagine my surprise when she told me you're a detective. I hope she also told you that I spent a full 10 minutes in her office without spilling a thing. These things happen. So, I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. Yeah, no, I'm I'm in love with some of the uh the pun names in here. I feel like you could probably get a fair amount of good drag names out of this. What do you think caused the roller coaster accident? That was no accident. It was sabotage. Do you have proof? Sabotage! Know why? Because I'm pulling your leg, that's why. Come on. What do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. That's odd. Ingrid said carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes. But I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around 18, 20 years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. And that's the horse that was stolen, the replacement? Right. The fact that the park is shut down must be kind of a relief for you. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by I mean, you're not wrong, yeah. this curse thing because that would be ridiculous. His hair goes like this. Literally just like straight out. I don't know what's going on. Up there. 
But yeah, he's pretty much just a white guy with squinty eyes. Ingrid said, you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return <laughs> no it to her. weirder than anyone busy. else in the game, that's fair. Ugh, maybe he should have had the thick Great. jersey Thanks. accent. Do I want them all to have thick jersey accents. Do you see much of the other people who were working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent, or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent? She's, like, invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that Rent-A-Cop... I've got no desire to see anything of him. Did you two have some kind of run-in? What, like a fight or something? How could we? He's one of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful guys I've ever met. <laughs> totally creeps me out. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. I like him. <laughs> He's one of the nicest, friendliest guys I've ever met. Freaks me out. I can use this to measure. Yes, that is what a ruler is for, Nancy. Good job. I help you? <laughs> wow, 360 board feet. That's a lot of wood. I'm just gonna take this. Use me. Mind if I look at this? No, go right ahead. A Good. book on carousels. Cool. Melvin A. Schwartz. I don't think there's a pun in there. Unfortunately. <sighs> uh, fanciful, flashy, often jewel encrusted saddles and bridles. Uh, less than realistic, frozen, highly animated poses. Realistic, sporting armor and militaristic gear. Horses with human faces carved somewhere on their sides. That's creepy. Real horse hair. I did not know that. Uh, intricate and realistic carousel figures. Those familiar with Rolf Kessler's work might disagree. Driven by dark moods and odd convictions, Kessler worked by himself, creating carousels on a freelance basis. Some people found the intense expressions of Kessler's creations to be a little too realistic. The side of the horse that faced out and was most seen by the public was called its romance side. Since it was the most visible side, it usually included much more detail than the inner side. This is all fascinating. <laughs> Nancy has a dragon sword somewhere of random stuff, just filled with stuff from her adventures. It's locked. I love it. <laughs> Good. Menagerie figures such as tigers, dogs, giraffes, and even frogs were found alongside horses in carousels in the late 19th century. But by 1920, these figures were on their way out because the carousel makers realized that many children were frightened of them and preferred to ride the horses. Case. Now we're good. Fortunately, we can't take that book with us. You know, full klepto moments. Alright, let's go fix this thing on the... Also, the eyes move here, and that's kind of terrifying. Just saying. That's freaking terrifying.
Okay. Circuits. Series, the total resistance is the sum of the resistor values. Okay, hold on. We gotta we gotta write this down. Hold on. We got these. Um we've got like green, black, yellow. It's five ohms. And we've got Orange, black, black, which is 30 ohms, and we've got brown, black, black, which is 10 ohms, and last one, which is brown, Black, brown, which is a hundred ohms. Okay, and we have a five ohm here. Okay, um, if they're in series, they add up to each other, and they're in parallel. Things get complicated, and they don't tell us. Cool. What did it say the full resistance of the circuit needed to be? Fifteen. And it won't let me move anything, so I hope this is right. Oh, I see. So we have to make it 15, so we either... Okay, we have to do... Um, this is 5, so we have to find the one that's 10, which is brown, black, black. We have to do this one. Okay, I see. There is a method to the madness. Yes? Boop. There, that looks right. Hey, I can do electricity. Go back to the guy. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You Boop. bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard-type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places, too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. I'll see you around. Go get them. A likely story. A man moving around to have different jobs? What could possibly be right about that? Hmm? Hmm? Let's see our card reader actually please freaking work. Oh, hey, look, it worked. Welcome to the roller coaster. I guess I just keep going this way. This looks like one of Joy's. A pencil. Really not gonna let me. Ow! I'm trapped. Oh good. Oh good. The carousel uh -oh. that hasn't been working at all. To get my foot loose, I need to switch. That looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Try, try again. You were electrocuted? That's what Harlan said must have happened. I was out cold when he found me. I can't afford to have you blundering around the park getting into accidents. Our damage. first My death. My insurance rates are high enough. In other words, you're off the case. But not really dead. She just electrocuted herself. Ow! I'm trapped! Also, she's wearing the mom jeans and those ugly ass shoes. Oh, Nancy. Uh -oh. Like... I need to. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Try, try again. Ta -da! She 
didn't die. She almost, almost died. No big deal. No big deal. She's not dead this time. She could have died, but you know, it's, it's, it's fine, I'm sure. There's absolutely no reason that anyone could have possibly done something. Need something? Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work. I work. I go home. That's pretty much my life. Oh, sad. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. I don't think so. It happened right after I picked up this pencil. This that pencil. Looks like one of mine. Yes, but I it didn't does. Leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Does Boy, it? While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. Bitch, go you go were snooping around in away. here. Well, I was leaving you a note, you know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random-seeking behavior. <sighs> All right, I was snooping. And now if you don't mind answering a question for me... What, what the fuck is, is that? that? My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his that. will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Go fucking die. Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine is about to get booted off in the frickin' ocean. In like five minutes. Does he do anything else besides blabber? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy go lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party pooping stick in the mud. So my father a loving programmed father. him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long lost memories from my childhood. That sounds fascinating. That's not fascinating. I don't see That's it that abuse. Way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy, especially since I'm so not gutsy. gutsy. That's a word that she uses. Oh, what uses. the heck? Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Don't give up yet. Maybe I'll turn up something in the course of my investigation. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. <laughs> She just whines. She just whines. She whines, but I don't want anything to do with Miles at all. I don't think anyone does. It's locked. It's locked. Ugh. Ruined. Oh, but someone isn't in his office. Let's do some stupid shit. I can't open this without the combination. God damn it. Well, then why did you look at it? Something? Oh, one, one, nine, oh. I mean, hey, that's a number, and numbers are important right now, apparently. So. I need a tape. Well, you're not getting one, sweetie. Just saying. Hmm. Is this breaking and entering? <laughs> Zero, one, one, nine, 
zero. Aha! Don't put your locker number on your magazine subscriptions? I don't know why that's even a thing, but... Ointments. All right, there you go. Lewis G. Best way to find out is to call him. Yeah, let's just call this guy. Six zero nine five 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 nine three one seven. Just gonna call random guy. This is tape. I'm gonna take the tape. I'm gonna take the tape. I'm gonna look at the tape. We're gonna take it first. I need a tape. Yeah, that's why you have a tape, dear. Because miscellaneous crap. Oh. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. Zero seven two six. I better put Ingrid. this back where I found it. Security. A boop. I made me open this thing. Cool. Yeah. Put that back. For once, Nancy isn't a klepto. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the time. Girl, she did it. I'm gonna make a call here. I feel like I need to make some calls. Let's call this Lewis. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Luis Guerra's office. You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That That's is what correct. parole means. But he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Maybe you can help me. Do you know if he has a client named Harlan Bishop? Yes, he does. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I didn't say that, but when was he paroled? Do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What Very was the name? Weird. Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. I'll let him know. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna call Paula. Paula Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. How long have you known? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. <laughs> but I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. Everyone's got I'll such in good touch. intentions in this game, which is better than real life. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Does the phrase, silvery remains of a four-bit day, ring any bells with you? Huh? Uh, never mind. I'll see you around. Knock him dead. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in, ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. I'll take that, thank you. Wow, Nancy is giving up the things that she has stolen. She's amazing. I know today. you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four bit day, what would you give me? A riddle. I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two bit means worth a quarter, four bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's quarters day. Day. Spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. 
comes with a souvenir spoon. Silvery, as in spoon, get it? That must be it. Thank He's you. Useful. Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. How do you know? If you must. Womp womp. Sorry that I have to, you know, let you do your job while you're being paid for it. Sorry. Oh, well, I mean, here I am saying that yet. Boop boop. Oh yeah. Who's gonna snoop? Call LH about results. LH. Lance Huffington, maybe? Who's Lance Huffington? Nothing to post? Like... What? That's a very shiny watch. Wow, that's one expensive watch. That's a $20,000 watch. Did I read that right? Yeah, $19,999. That's a lot of money for a watch. This is too much money for a watch. Okay, that's all she needs. Boop. Uh, come back to the captain's quarters. We have now been told we need to order a Sunday. We can order a Sunday. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day souvenir spoon coming right up. Anything else? 2,480 calories. That's... That's it. Thanks a lot. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, that was so good. Okay, so now we got the thing. Let's check our email. Anything in the email. Lemon juice. Ah, lemon juice. Invisible ink. Good to know the dog is being a dog. You know. Isn't her accent just the best, though? I can't remember what her name is now. Is it Janice? I feel like it should be Janice if it's not Janice. Ugh. Hello? Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. Oh, his name is Luis. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Did he ever have a cellmate named Chaz Dunning? No, ma'am. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Yeah, okay, he's innocent. Bye. Okay, cool. He sounds like an FBI Any man. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. I don't understand how this works. <laughs> Is that a scanner? It's got a scanner scan inside of it. Complete. Yep. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? She's four years old. The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. It was four years I was so old. small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Miles, in the riddle, you said something about telling a truth long since put away. You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No, my father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. You've probably forgotten everything about that time in your life because it was just too painful to remember. 
The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Bet you, uh, you guys didn't expect Here to, um... Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. Bet you guys didn't expect, uh, these two fuckers to give you a deep and heavy life lessons, huh? Escape from the mystery, not the emotional stuff. Amen. Didn't realize we were going to help this woman through her childhood trauma. It's just a blank piece of paper. No, it's not. We just read the lemon juice thing. You and your mother used to love to play this game. Joy. How can Once she remember again, any of this? She was no four idea years what old. He's talking about. You know, some of the things your father wants you to remember may be pretty painful. Are you sure you want to go on? If you I still don't. want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. Well, if opening that door ends up with you wearing a different fucking jacket, I'll be down for it. I'll get How back to that? you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. I really do need to get this work done. Right. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. What else is there? What else? Is... Well, let's go do the thing first. We have the thing, so like... Oop. I need to turn the iron on. Keep going. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Honey, we just put that away and that needs to be turned to turn on. The iron on. No, we don't. We need to turn the iron off before we burn down the hotel. I want ice cream now, too, and the best part is that there is ice cream in the freezer, but I will not get up in the middle of the stream again. I've already done that once. So I will be good to you guys, and I will Any stay luck? here. There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. And a mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. I just can't. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. I mean, I am only lucky because I've had incredible amounts of restraint with the ice cream because it's just a pint of Ben and Jerry's, so it's like this this big. And I've been like slowly chipping away at it a little bit at a time. I got it last weekend, so like slowly. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. We'll have to tink about this one? It's all yours, detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you I'm as soon as I can. I'm probably going to finish all I of it really tonight because I your help. don't have work tomorrow. I just have the gym, and therefore, if I have the gym, I can afford to eat extra ice cream, right? Right? Yeah. Uh, did she say she would get... She said she was finished with this, right? Like, if I open this, does it work now? Ooh, cool, it worked. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Okay, gotta call the guy named Tink. Well, while we're here, let's see if this works too. Boop, boop. Cool. This is useful. There is a, that's a cabinet that has a lock. This is a trap door. <sighs> Time to start crawling. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Caution beyond this point. I 
wonder what that is. Dizem lá. There's something up there. Looks like a letter. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I am nothing. Uh I can't reach it. Hmm. Ah. No, no, I want out. There. That way. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. You can't take evidence from me. I'm a klepto. It's mine. <laughs> Use your klepto powers, Nancy. You need to transcend. She just stands in an area and anything that's not nailed to any kind of surface just immediately falls into her pockets <laughs> i got your soldering gun from elliot and fixed that card reader does he borrow your tools a lot very rarely he's not exactly a mechanical genius how well do you know elliot chen not very but i've noticed he has a very strange aura very dark around the edges odd for an artist but then it's nowhere near as dark as joy's her aura is a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster Only accident. Carbs Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. How did you meet him? Look, what are you getting at? Let's be straightforward about it. Partners. He gets on the roller coaster, you shut off the power, the coaster stops suddenly, he cries whiplash and sues the park, you share the settlement. Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Are you really going to tell me that you can afford a $20,000 gold watch on the salary you earn working here at the park? All right. I have been making money on the side. But it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This because guy it knows is. I'm taking a risk, like. so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place <laughs> She's hiding him, something. Also, she's me? fat. <laughs> that guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove good. your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. Is that a threat? No, it's not a threat. It's just... All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> as long as you're here, I, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. The shade, the shade today is just something. I gotta call that guy. First, I gotta call this guy. Lance Huffington. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm uh, Nancy this guy sounds Drew. Creep. I work with Ingrid creep, creep, Corey. Creep. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Creep! Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results. Yeah, she called me. 
So, is everything okay? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. That wasn't super sketch at all. Not even remotely sketch, like... I feel dirty. Yeah, yeah, this is Tank. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I, I know. Love, I'm trying to help Miss Santos figure out so what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. You mean the one that's locked? 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here at the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! This <laughs> is... Alright, we're gonna do this cabinet thing and then I think we're gonna call it a night probably. Because I think we can leave on on that particular note. Not terribly far away from it. <laughs> I just wanted him to just be like, listen toots. Just listen toots. Just just once. I wanted that to be a thing. Of course that's kinda sexist, so maybe not, but for some reason I thought that would be funny. song is on the third roll. This must be it. Then I'll take this. Hi. And is this sanctioned kleptomaniac? Like sanctioned klepto? This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. The take-up dowel is broken. Well. Good job, Nancy. You fucked it up. <laughs> See, I feel like I've played this one a little too early because there's not a lot for me to figure out. Like, I played this one only a couple months ago, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Like... Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks oh, for you're your not help. mad at me anymore? No big deal. Okay. Uh, or is it in Elliot's work? Hey, Nance, what's going on? I need to make a dowel there to replace go. this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. So we can snoop while he's gone. Like, whatever this is. Collector's hot sheet. Antique instruments. Jewel of glasses worth a mint. Lol. Hmm, if Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Ah, this is all about... Yep, selling those things. And he's basically sad. Okay. Let's measure this first, I think, probably. 
I can use this to measure. Yes, you can. It is 14 inches long. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Two inches is there. And then like from eleven to twelve is another. But up up. Then from like there on. Something like that, I think. This is gonna be hard, isn't it? Wow, a lathe. It's all with. fun and games until somebody loses an eye. You'll shoot your eye out. Have a dowel. And do a thing. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes. I think. That doesn't look right. Failure. Better leave these goggles here. She failed. She failed. I failed. We all failed. Failure. It's sad. Oh, because it's a little notch at 12. It's not like a big thing. Also, this is a... Those look like horse tails. Very astute. They look like horse tails. There's no music right now. It's very silent. It's weird. Very weird. All right, let's try this again. This once wasn't enough. Looks perfect. Cool. We did it. We Better did the thing. These goggles here. No, take it with you. You're a klepto. Just do it. Do it. Do it like Nike. Just do it. Okay. Fix the thing. Do the thing. Cool. Put the thing in the thing. The roll in the thing. Cool. Press the power button. This is where the air comes out. 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 Now the problem being that I have no idea what the notes are, even though I can probably figure them out to be honest. Thanks, music degree. <laughs> it's useful for something. We're just gonna turn that off because um this isn't helping now of course i actually do know what to do next so i'm just gonna quickly write a tiny little note for myself okay we're gonna close that however ladies and gentlemen boys and girls those that lie between and without I feel like that's a cooler way to say that betwixt and without those something like that i'm going to call it a night i love you all dearly thank you so much for coming back to my stream um it's been loads of fun don't worry i will see you next week um 
probably Tuesday or Wednesday again um, instead of Thursday this time. I will figure out exactly when. I might actually even be able to do two days, but uh, we'll see. We'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for coming, guys. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Let me just quickly do the save thing here. Do the save. And then the exit. I don't want to save because we already saved. And there we are. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night or a great morning for at least the one person that I see in my chat who is definitely not in this time zone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I will see you all soon. And uh, until then, keep an eye out for all my social media channels, BOS Trophy Wife on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, and I will let you know when my next stream will be either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of next week. We'll figure out a good time. Uh, probably Tuesday or Thursday, I'm going to say, because my normal gym routine is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I will see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.